Scott, the son of assistant director Gino Marotta, who was visiting his father for the day. Gino reveals that his son originally took a more active part in the proceedings. Uh, but uh, during the filming and during the sh shooting of the episode, he uh, played a part as one of the spectators in the town square watching the fight between uh, uh, Patrick Magoon and this other guy. And in the finish, uh, he went forward and picked up Magoon's hat and handed it to him. Pat just picked it up, brushed it, and I think they went off into the saloon after that. And that was basically what he was there for. Uh, not very much. It was just as very, uh, something really for him to do more than anything else. The rest of the exteriors we did on the back lot at MGM with Boar and Wood, the ranch houses, the saddlery shop, with the massive great big spoke wheel outside. Um, Larry Taylor, an old friend of mine, was sitting outside as a gringo. And uh, one sequence I particularly remember was Frank Mayer as a stunt double being pulled along the ground on a rope drawn by a horse, one of the horses. I remember a bar sequence and there was Michael Balfour playing the part of Will with the old funny slouch hat on. He went up to the bar and ordered a drink and eventually a fight ensued in the bar. Now that I can remember very well. Somebody else who remembers the sequence equally well is Michael Balfour, who recalls the pain some actors can go through for a production. I remember the scene so well, because it was one of the scenes, Alexis, who I didn't know at all, when we were rehearsing, and uh, he has to shoot me, and the one thing he did, which I didn't want him to do, was aim straight at my face. And of course you get all the stuff, Cafellas coming out, flanks. And uh, so that caused a terrible argument, you know, against it, you could blind you, the worst thing you could possibly do. So I said, shoot me here, that was all the very real trouble. So anyway, before that, he, you're supposed to put a pad there, and he touched the cigar, but he missed the pad and <laughs> felt my neck. So it was a, a rather hostile um, opening to the scene. <laughs> but I remembered it so vividly over the years, you do.